Year One, it's Monday and it's Reading Skills. So today we are going to learn, we are learning to familiarise ourselves with the text. So we've got a new text today, I hope you're going to like it. We're going to do some quick prediction, we're going to do keywords, we're going to sit back and listen and enjoy our book. And if you've got time, and I'm saying this only if you've got time and that you want to, you can respond. You don't have to do that bit, it's always good to think a little bit about what we've read. So, this is the cover of our book. I've cleverly hidden the title. First of all, I want you to think about what sort of book is it? What sort of book is it? Is it a story book or is it a non-fiction book? And you need to think about the clues on the cover and it's just a picture you've got, just a picture. So what sort of book do you think it is? And I'd like you to try and predict what the title of the book is. Pause the video now to have a little think about what the title of the book is. We're going to go on. So the title of the book is Under the Sea. That's a good title, isn't it? And it's a non-fiction book with facts and information. So it's not a story, it's got facts and statements and information in it. Now what sort of information do you think it has in it? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, that's right, it's about animals that live under the sea. Now, if you said it's about animals that live under the sea, well done, but I want a little bit more. What else? Be really exact and specific. What sort of information is included about animals that live under the sea? What do you think? Have a little think. Yeah? So if you said, oh, it'll have information about what they eat, that was a good thing to say. If you, ha if, if you said it had information about who eats them, who eats the cre these creatures under the sea? That's a good thing as well. Um, what else? Uh, maybe some information about baby animals that live under the sea. That's a good thing. Did you think of those sorts of things? Yeah? Anything else? Yeah, anything to do with animals under the sea. But yeah, if you said animals under the sea and what they eat and how they live, that kind of thing, that's a good prediction. And this is the back of the book, so this is the blurb, so I'll read you the blurb. Under the sea, what lives at the bottom of the sea? What does a shark really eat? How does a seahorse swim? In this book, you'll find the answers and lots more about the fascinating things which live under the sea. And then it goes on to tell you that this book is part of a series of books. I won't bother to read for you with that bit. Okay, so we're going to do some keywords. Remember, keywords unlock your brain. I'm going to move my face. We're going to use eagle eye. We're going to look at the picture. We are going to use reading robots and out a sounds because you've all been doing such great stuff in your phonics lessons. And we're also going to do Chunky Monkey. We're going to split it up into manageable bits. Okay, ready to go? I'm going to do some keywords. The word is going to come up first and then the picture. Dolphin. Did you get that right? This in the middle makes what sort of sound? It's a diagraph. The P and the H make a 
sound. So d o l in dolphin. Let's go back. There we are. Did you get that one right? Shark. Shark. This one you'll need to use Chunky Monkey. You'll need to chop it up. This is a compound word. So it's got two words. Squashed together to make one word. So if you think of the Y here as the end of the word, that makes an E sound. We've done that before, haven't we? So it is. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Can you use Reading Robot for this one? And Chunky Monkey. Octopus. 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 He looks fun, doesn't he? I think he looks fun. Here comes the picture. C t a t l t a t l turtle. How many sound buttons in that one? T a t l. Four sound buttons. Turtle. Chop this one into two bits. Seahorse, seahorse. Penguin. That's a rock hopper penguin, I think. He's just jumping off the rocks. Have a go before the picture comes up. Whale, whale. Oh, now I've put two words up here because sometimes you get the short version and sometimes you get the long version. And I think you, the word in the book is the short version, but I think you might be more familiar with the longer version. And again, you can chop this one. This is the longer version. You can chop this up into two bits. So if you read this bit, I'll give you a picture clue. See if it helps. It's a shipwreck. Shipwreck. So this is the long version. Long version. Shipwreck. And this is the shortened version. Wreck. Okay, now you will notice that there's a what? At the beginning there. We're not going to pronounce that word. We don't say wreck, wreck. But do you remember a long, long time ago one daffodil? I told you that sometimes uh, in the olden days they did use to pronounce the word. Like the word, um, which was the word? I can't remember. Maybe it was the word gnome. You used to say gnome. But we don't say gnome anymore but once upon a time they did so it's just a hang off from the olden days when they used to pronounce the the w wreck wreck it's just easier to say wreck isn't it you're definitely gonna have to chop this one up no it's not a tent it's a 
tentacle, tentacle, tentacle. Have a go. Here comes the clue. Sucker, sucker. So all those individual bits on the tentacle, it's a sucker and the octopus uses it to stick onto things. That's why it's called a sucker. Chop this one into two. Here comes the clue. Blowhole. And that's the hole on the top of a dolphin's or a whale's head, and they use it to breathe underwater. It helps them breathe underwater. And sometimes they blow water out of it too at the top. Blow hole. Right, I'm just going to come out of this one, and I'm going to put the actual story up for you. Okay. Under the sea. Just going to put my picture in the middle. Also, this, we have a contents page and we have an introduction. So we're going to go back to the contents page on another day, but I'll read from Living Underwater on the second page. Can you see the second page? It says Living Underwater. Many amazing creatures live under the sea. Some seas are warm and some are cold. They can be deep, but some are shallow. These bright fish live in shallow seas. seas. Dolphins. Dolphins live in warm and cold seas. They have smooth bodies which help them swim very fast. Dolphins breathe through a hole on the top of their head. It is called a blowhole. A dolphin swims to the surface, it breathes out air, water sprays up, it breathes in and dives underwater. If a dolphin is sick, other dolphins take care of it. A mother dolphin with two babies. A mother dolphin shows her baby how to breathe, she teaches it how to look for food. go back. Sorry children. Sharks. Sharks have many rows of sharp teeth. They usually eat fish, squid or seals. This is a great white shark. It is the most dangerous kind of shark. How many rows of teeth can you see? This is a whale shark. A whale shark is the largest fish in the sea. The fastest kind of shark is the mako shark. This hammerhead shark has an eye at each end of its wide head. Some whale sharks are longer than a bus. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have no bones and no brains. They look like blobs floating in the sea. Some have tentacles that can sting. This jellyfish has curly arms that hang down. It also has long, thin tentacles. A fish swims into the tentacles. The tentacles still sting the fish many times. The arms push the fish into its mouth. These are called upside down jellyfish. They don't have long tentacles. Some jellyfish have tentacles as long as a soccer field. Flatfish. Some fish are flat. Some of them can change the shade of their skin to hide from other fish. A place lies on a muddy seabed. It looks like the mud. It swims over sand. Its skin changes to look like the sand. Most flatfish have sp 
both eyes on top of their body, like this peacock flounder. Rays have flat bodies. They swim by moving their huge fins up and down like wings. Torpedo rays give fish an electric shock. Then they eat them. Octopuses. Some sea creatures, such as eels, like to eat octopuses. When an octopus is scared, it hides in a cloud of ink. This is an eel, and this is an octopus. The eel is waiting to attack the octopus. The octopus sprays a cloud of ink at the eel. The octopus moves away very fast. An octopus has eight strong arms. It has lots of suckers on its arm. arms. An octopus uses its suckers to grab food to eat. Sea turtles. Sea turtles live in warm seas. They lay their eggs on the land. They have a soft body which is protected by a hard shell. The, sea, the green sea turtle uses its flippers to swim through the water. Sea turtles weigh about the same as adult human beings. A sea turtle finds the beach where she, ha she was born to lay her own eggs. She lays her eggs in a, blow ho in a hole. She covers the eggs with sand. She goes back to the sea. Baby turtles hatch out of the eggs. They find their way to the sea. This sea turtle is hatching from its egg. Dragons and horses. Dragons and horses live under the sea. They are seahorses and sea dragons. This is a leafy sea dragon. Parts of its body are long and green. Sea dragons can hide easily because they look like seaweed. Seahorses are a kind of fish. They swim upright. They suck tiny animals through their mouths. If a seahorse wants to stay in one place, it curls its tail around a sea plant. Watch out! Fish use clever tricks to scare other fish. Lionfish have long poisonous spines. They flick them forward to scare other fish. A shark has spotted a porcupine fish. The porcupine fish swells up like a balloon. It is too hard to eat. The shark swims away. Some fish swim in a group called a school. Other fish may think the school is one big fish. Penguins. Penguins dive into the sea to catch their food. They eat fish, squid and tiny sea animals. These are rock hopper penguins. They dive from rocks or ice. Penguins are birds, but they cannot fly. There are 17 kinds of penguins. They leap out of the sea. They take a gulp of air and dive again. Penguins swim very fast to catch their food. Near the bottom. It is very cold and, sorry, I'll read that again. It is very dark and cold near the bottom of the sea. Strange fish live there. Lots of them have big mouths and sharp teeth. A viper fish have very long teeth. Angler fish have a light above their mouth. They eat fish that swim near. Hatchet fish have big eyes on top of their head. Gulper eels have a huge mouth. There isn't much to eat deep in the sea. Fish wait for dead animals to sink from above. Divers. Divers wear special clothes so that they can swim under the water. Their tank contains air. It helps the diver breathe under the water. Divers wear fins to help them swim. Under the water, divers use their hands to tell other divers things. 
this means okay, this means stop or wait, and this means I'm going up. Some divers explore the wrecks of ships. They may see old things such as pots. Some divers look at the plants and fish which live in the sea. There are many shipwrecks under the sea which have never been found. And here we have a glossary of undersea, undersea words. Here are some of the words in this book you might not know. This page tells you what they mean. Blowhole. A, top, a hole on the top of a dolphin's head is used for breathing. Tentacles. Long parts of a jellyfish, they can sting. Fins, parts of a fish, they help a fish swim. Divers wear plastic fins to help them swim. Sucker, a round pad, it can stick to rocks and fish. Poisonous, something poisonous can kill you. Some fish have poisonous spines. Spines, sharp points which stick out of a fish's body. And on this page we've got some websites to visit. So I won't read all of this but on the next page I've included the links. So think about your favourite sea creature or one that you think is a bit weird. Write a sentence about why you like it. Draw a picture or make a model of a fish. Go to the links page and watch the clips. Listen to some watery music got a link there too and you might want to do some mindfulness sea colouring in maybe with some watery colours some blues and some greens and things it's up to you whether you respond to the book it's up to you bye for now bye year one